Hey guys, in this video, we will show you how to backup your computer or your laptop. Let's learn it with Luan. So here are five effective methods to backup your data on Windows, making sure you always have a secure copy. So the first method, guys, is backup with the file history. For you guys who doesn't know, file history is a built-in Windows tool that automatically backups files storing specific folders such as documents pictures videos and desktop it's a great option for those who need to keep up up to date copies of everyday files like photos videos of your family or some some out that you that went out your family your girlfriend your brother doesn't matter without having to manually handle the process and to use the file like story you should follow those steps you can go on settings right here now go on update and security and here we are going to find the backup right here files backup click edit a drive here on backup using file and you are going to choose your ADD or SSD that you want to backup from that point on Windows automatically Will back up to selected files you can customize it which folders to include in the backup and the system will periodically update the files so that you don't have to worry about it and have a recent copy of them okay you can go more options and here are more options you can customize like I said you can exclude those folders you can back up to a different drive and here on related settings you can go on C advanced settings that you give you more options here you can turn it off or you can go right here and go on stop using drive the second method is very very simple you are going on menu windows you are going on your ADD or SSD that has your windows you go on user you're gonna go usually is your name that you that you put on your computer or laptop but it can have another name for you to see uh what is was the name of your computer or laptop that is put it in your computer you go on menu here and click right here or just pass the mouse and it you show the name of your computer for me it's my name luan so that will be right here Luan. when you open it you have all the things that you have in your computer or laptop there is also this way to back up your computer okay so you can choose one by one that you want or just get the past the folder all the folder click with the right button copy and go to a pen drive or a stand ADD and pass there and then you have a copy so this was another way of how to do the backup there is also a way that you can do the backup with a OneDrive and that's the method number three so that you have to have the OneDrive installed if you don't you can go on Google right here and go on Google you can write OneDrive download you can go on the first option and you can go on download when you have that you can open it you can send in and here you can go on settings link this PC and there will be the same options that are that, that was on the first one the first method here on sync and backup there will be a list that you can choose whether the page you want the, 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 the folder you want or the place that you want and that's the method number three with the OneDrive you have all your files linked in the cloud every single time of the day that you want just click on the OneDrive right here and there you'll be there you can even see online you can download it you can just delete it in your computer and you'll be on the cloud 
that's what you want. And once the same thing is enabled, your files will all be saved in the cloud, like I said. You'll be able to assess them even if something happens to your computer. And additionally, OneDrive allows you for easy file sharing with others, which can be helpful in various situations, like working and etc. So if you are looking for a more comprehensive solution, a full system backup might be the best option. This method creates a system image, which includes personal files, settings, and even install applications. This complete copy everything is highly useful in case of several issues, such as operation system failures, or even that preventing Windows from starting, as you can restore the entire system. So to create a full system backup, follow the steps. Go to Control Panel, or click menu and right control panel. Let's go here on category. Click the right button, go on small icons. And here we are going to find backup and restore. Windows 7. In the side menu, create a system image. Right here. Choose where to save the backup, such as the external hard drive and follow the instructions to complete the process, okay? I'm not going to do that until the finish end because I don't need it, but you should do it if you want. It's safe, you won't lose anything and nothing bad will happen. This process can take some time depending on the volume of the files and settings, okay? So remember to keep this image on a secure device, like a external drive, so it's accessible in case you need to restore the system, okay? The method number five is backup with a third-party software. So while Windows offers several bidding options, there are third-party programs like that provide additional features and great flexibility for backups. Programs like the ESOS Total Backup. So you are going to install the ESOS right here. You are going to custom install. Let's choose the language, okay, okay, install. Can take some time, but it's finishing already. Now for the program open and install, we are going to click here on create backup. You are going to choose if you want to backup your awesome file, disk, the Windows or apps and it's very simple guys let's choose um file we are going to literally choose a file let's choose some folder right here let's choose the fifa folder let's select and click ok now select the destination where you want to save the backup Let's suppose I want right here. And then backup now. Now that it's done, it will say it will warn you backup completed and it's finished. Consider which option best methods and best meet your needs. Taking into account factors such as how frequently you need to back up, the, the volume of data and the desired level of the security. Remember that prevention is always the best approach to avoid data loss. If I helped you, please leave a comment below. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Leave a like in the video because this helped me a lot. So I'll see you in the next video and bye bye guys.